Hello, everybody. Welcome to Clock Tower. Alright everybody, we're going to get into probably one of my favorite games of all time. I think this is definitely the scariest game ever made. Just bar none. I, I fucking love this game. I think it's freaking fantastic and I think you'll like it too. If you haven't played it, well, god damn it, you should. Raised in the Granite Orphanage, Jennifer and her friends. were wanted as adopted daughters. It happened in September. Everything in this game is so good. The music, just the, the, the visuals, even just for its time, this game is gorgeous. Lara, hurry up! We want to be there before sunset. Miss Mary? Yes. From now on, what kind of place will we be living in? That's the fifth time you asked. Don't worry, it's a very nice place. We're almost there, see? There it is, the Barrow's Mansion, in all its creepy, gothic glory. Oh, well, this seems to be a very nice place. What a huge place! Yeah! The main hall's gigantic! I gotta go get Mr. Barrow's. Everyone, wait here. I hope you guys all like my uh, terrific award-winning voice acting there. Because I think I'm absolutely brilliant. And uh, just let me get used to the controls. Ah, there we are. Basically, it's, it's basically a point-and-click adventure game, but it's a point-and-click adventure game with an NES controls, and um, I'm not playing on an NES, um, or I'm not playing on a Super Nintendo or a Super Famicom. I'm playing this on an emulator, uh, which is basically about the only way that you can play it right now. This game was not originally released in America. It was originally exclusively a Japan title, but it's since then been translated by fans, um... And uh, it's ported on the PC with uh, with emulators and whatnot, and I recommend it. There's no reason not to get it now. Uh, let me see. No, okay, that's walk left. Uh, it's always a, a, a battle to get, to figure out what does what. No, okay. No, that's not what I want. <laughs> Come on, just just talk to them. Okay. Uh I got this all before. There we go. Hey Ann. You wanna know what kind of guy Mr. Barrows is, right? Yeah. Wow, Ann, you're you're a little weird. What is it? Is something wrong? This house makes me uneasy. Yes, that's I decided that's how she talks. Let's talk to our little our little ginger friend over here. Hello. Hello, young lady. How are you? I don't ever get used to this place. 
Huh? Heh. Lottie's paranoid. <coughs> well, let's go talk to you then. Hey. Can you go find Miss Mary? What happened to Miss Mary? Mary, she's taking a long time. Should I go find Miss Mary? No, I'll go look for her. And thus, our adventure begins going to look for our missing governess. Miss Mary! Mary! Hmm, nothing out of the ordinary here. <gasps> what was that? The main hall! Girls? Come on, this isn't funny. But he's gone. Well, at least the lights are back on. Hmm. Some very peculiar goings ons. <gasps> what was that? It's dark outside. Hmm. Let's investigate in here real quick. Forgot to do this last time. Let's look in here. This game uh, actually has a pattern of changing based off of you doing different things. Uh, well, let me in there this time. Lattice is closed outside. Yeah, there's there's just different things that go on. Sometimes it's random. Uh, what events are going to take place. But there are different series of events. So it's really worth your time to actually play through this game multiple times. To try to get the different endings. And uh, this game, they, were, they had the, the designers had the foresight to realize that people would want to replay it to get the different endings. So they tried to make it as varied of an experience. Uh as they could, and it really kind of is. It, it really pays off uh, in the multiple playthroughs of this game where you get to see something that you didn't see the first time around that freaks you out. and just keeps this game very unpredictable. Or unpredictable, rather. Lights are out. Where's the switch? No, I don't want you to go out. Get back in here. Come on, Jennifer. Go back in the room. I was very, very confused about a lot of this game the first time I played it. Ah, so much nicer now that we can see. Jennifer has nothing to say about that painting. That creepy as shit painting on the wall there. I mean, seriously, who besides me would have that? The box is empty. Sometimes there's stuff in the box. Not all the time. Let's go into the next room and see what we can find. All in all, though, this is a very nice house. I, I I really am absolutely in love with the way this game looks. I'm just, I'm so impressed by it. I think it's aged incredibly well as far as 2D adventure games go. In fact, I'm going to say this is definitely one of the, this looks even better than a lot of modern 2D adventure games. What's this right here? There's something on the dresser. What is this thing? It's a broken picture frame of some sort. Oh, that's... Seems like there's going to be some dastardly goings on in this building. I don't like it. There's lots of different things that happen, can happen just by clicking on random things. For example, this thing right here. Now, this guy is a bit of an asshole. It's a parrot. Who's screaming out how he'll kill you. It's an evil fucking bird. And uh, later on in the game, where you're being chased by the token villain, 
uh, app called Scissorman by most fans, the the bird, if you try to hide under the bed, the bird will give away your position. Come on. Come on. No, no, no. Come on. Come on. Don't, don't, don't the bird kill you. Come on. No, 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 no. Come on. Yes. Yes. Come on, Jennifer. Don't let the bird get you. Come on. Yes, the bird will kill you after a while, by the way, if you can't get Jennifer to respond. But that's the way to take care of the bird. And now, uh, when Man comes running after me, I'll be ready to deal with him. Fucking bird. I am having none of your shit today, Mr. Bird. Oh, I uh, went through the wrong room. I wanted to go a bit. I wanted to go the other way. I can't. I'm not quite sure which death scene I'm gonna get first today. There's a couple different ones that I've gotten at the beginning, and I'm not quite sure what events trigger them. So, uh, we're, gonna, we're just gonna play around and see what we can find out. We're gonna see what deaths we get this time around. It's a lot of different, very cool, very well done uh, pixel art death scenes that I uh, I like a lot. So we're just gonna walk and explore the mansion. Such a lovely place. Oh, we're gonna get this one. We could go that way. We could bathroom in there, but I feel like I think I want to see if I can trigger this death scene up here. Yeah. This is how you trigger this death scene. Oh my god. And! Oh shit! GTFO, Jennifer! Run! Run, bitch! Run! Ah! Oh shit! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Come on! Okay, okay! A bed under the bed! Under the bed! Under the bed! Hurry! Hurry, Jennifer! Hurry! Oh Jesus! Come on, just hurry and stay under the bed! Just... Oh shit, don't find me, don't find me, don't find me! Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, you can't get me, motherfucker. You can't get me. Okay. Well, that was our uh, first run-in with uh, with the Scissor Man. But uh, we're gonna be okay. We're just a little exhausted. Poor Jennifer. She needs to take a lie down. She needs to take a little break. Her nerves are shot. She just can't handle that much more this evening. One of her friends are dead. She just saw one of her friends smashed through a stained glass window, Dario Argento style. If you um aren't familiar with the films of Dario Argento, this game takes a lot from some of his classic movies from the 70s and 80s. Oh, looks like our TV's broken. Let's go ahead and turn it off. I don't know if there was like supposed to be something random that happened with that TV or not. Uh, I haven't... I don't know if any fans uh, who've played this multiple times have found any uh, events with the TV, but uh, I haven't, besides the whole fact that it just kind of blares static at you and it's kind of creepy. Uh, but, like I was saying, for those of you uh, who aren't familiar with the work of Dario Argento, it might behoove you to get yourself acquainted with a few of his films before playing this game, because I think uh, for Argento fans, this game is doubly exciting. Um, because there's a lot of references and uh, visual cues that are inspired from uh, his work uh, around the 70s and 80s. Particularly from the films of uh, Deep Red, Phenomena, um, especially, and uh, Suspiria. Uh, especially, and Suspiria is more, one of his more famous films. And uh, one of the famous death scenes is where a woman does end up falling through a stained glass ceiling. Like the uh, death that you saw there a moment ago. So, hopefully Jennifer will decide to take a rest soon. 
I'm going to let her take a little break. I, I, after a while of writing and a lot of paranoia-induced craziness, Jennifer gets a little tired. You can see how the, the little uh, box behind her face is a different color now. And that's because she's tired, the poor girl. She's, she's plum fucking exhausted. And so we're going to let her rest for a bit. We're going to cut the video, and then I'll be back. I'll see you later, everybody.